Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to talk about repairing the Queen Anne table lighter in relation to the repair of the Ronson Crown. The Ronson Crown is a video that I made I think probably close to a year and a half ago now. There is fundamentally no difference in what it will take to make the repairs on a Ronson Queen Anne table lighter than you will find in the videos for the wick replacement and repairing the spark in the crown table lighter. I bought a group of six of these off of an auction site several years ago, or four or five years ago anyway. There were three Queen Anne's and three crowns. I have used one or two of them I have made a project out of a few of them and I've also stolen some parts off of some to put on other lighters or to send to other people. You will notice that the mechanisms are identical even though the dimensions of the actual lighter or lighters do differ. The Queen Anne is a little bit longer and I think a little taller. See that the bases seem to be basically the same footprint, identical as far as that goes, although the fill screws and, or I should say the fuel hole and the flint tube do have slightly different placements. I don't know for sure if that is a function of the position that the mechanism is in, you can see that the mechanism on the Queen Anne or the crown was a little bit wonky because it is missing its fulcrum cap. So as I said, I've stolen some parts off of these lighters from time to time to put on other lighters or to send to other people. But I got the question as to how to repair the Queen Anne and I don't have the time today I'm making a bunch of different videos and don't have the time to take to make an all-encompassing maintenance video for the Queen Anne where we could change out all the wadding and the wick and also disassemble the actuating mechanism and deal with any blockage that there may be. There you can see with a rod straight up that flint tube that the Queen Anne has a straight tube. No doubt about that. But a more detailed video we could replace the wick, disassemble the mechanism, deal with any blockage, deteriorated flint, or as you'll see here in a little bit when we get a look at the file wheel, that even the file wheel on this Queen Anne could use a good cleaning as it appears as though maybe some of that silver plate tarnish has even settled on the file wheel. Now you can see here that there is no curve being taken by our rod, but this flint tube does appear to be in there at somewhat of a diagonal angle. Not curved, just leaning a little bit. At least that is my perception. But both of these flint tubes are straight. So if you had to, you could take a drill right up from the bottom right up the top if you had the file wheel out of the way. That would probably be the safer way to do that rather than trying to go in from the top and then you end up cracking the neck of your flint tube 
there where it needs to hold that flint in place against the file wheel. So this wick has been trimmed up and we got plenty of spark, but for whatever reason it's not lighting as it should. Every lighter should light first time every time, but Ronson advertised that. Ronson's, you shouldn't be having to strike them five times for every time it lights. If it works correctly, you should be able to press that button every time and it light every time. So this lighter is obviously not working correctly, not working up to the standard that Ronson had set, nor the standard that I would want it to achieve in order to be able to confidently sell it. But this is just a project lighter. Our only purpose here today was to answer the question about maintenance on the Queen Anne. And I plan on making that video, but in the time being, there are videos that have already been shot, edited, published, all the work's been done. And actually, I will go back and change the title of those videos too to include Queen Anne. That might improve some of this. But I don't mind making the other video, even though the procedures that are being done and demonstrated are going to be identical. Um, it still might help somebody to see it done on exactly their lighter rather than one that looks a little bit different. I just don't have the time to do it right at the moment. So if you need to know how to change the wick or to disassemble the sparking mechanism and deal with the old degraded flint in a Ronson Queen Anne table lighter, if you absolutely need to know that today, then go over and check out. I have two videos. One is for repairing the spark, and the other one, I believe, was a real-time video of me pulling out all the wadding and replacing the wick and then putting in new wadding after that for the Ronson crown. This Queen Anne is silver plated, which causes some issues. The wick had to be trimmed, which I really don't like doing these days, but there was just no way for me to deal with it. So I went ahead and trimmed it up, tried to stay away from that because of the fact of there being asbestos in so many of these old wicks. The gasket on that fuel screw has become brittle and broken and is now contaminating the wadding. So I tried to pull that out, shake it out as best I could. But like I said, this is a project. Just wanting to answer the question for today. And now we will decide moving forward. But I've never thought it was all that important to have those o-ring seals or any kind of gasket on these lighters to begin with because I believe if you have them fueled properly then the wadding is sufficient to hold the weight of the fuel insofar as you have robust threads at the bottom and then you can see there on that file wheel what I was talking about the the build up plenty of work left to do on this one we'll get it working properly anyway even if the tarnished silver plate doesn't shine like it should even though this lighter doesn't need a wick we'll see what comes of it but I'm not in any big hurry to make that video so for now just understand what goes for the crown will work just fine for the Queen Anne. Until next time.